So I have picked up uh, one of these battery box from Walmart. They are for size 24 to 31 battery size. And uh, I have a trolling motor, a marine motor, for size 24. So I set up this space left, and um, you know, it's a very popular mob on, online. And I'm going to do it in my way uh, to put, you know, all this uh, fancy socket and charger and switch on it to uh, make it more useful when I take it to the, take it to the water. Uh, I'll be able to have a USB and then also have a regular serial light charger and I'll be able to tell the voltage of the battery status and uh, the switch here with the switch I can uh, just turn it on and off the reason I want to switch because um, when I'm using it uh, voltage it will start drinking the power from the battery so it's not a very good idea so I'd like to have a have a way to control on off all the off all these connections in here so um, a quad port design is the one that I'm going to go for and I do a measurement, the size is actually just perfect. I already mark out the location where I want to install this. And uh, this package you can buy from eBay, it's pretty cheap. Uh, it's only cost like, I think, 10 something dollar and comes with the connector and stuff and screws already. But I'm not going to use this screw. I think the screw they provide is probably for, for plastic and wood screw to go into a more solid structure, but I don't. This is a very thin wall. So I have some. Uh, nuts and bolt I'm going to use so that's how I do it and uh, you can take okay, reference so to let's it. take the battery out oh. now we have this all marked out get a piece of tape masking tape I'm just going to eyeball this roughly That side. Found the right drill bed. Let's do some drilling. <laughs> okay, before I'm going on, actually, I'm gonna. So while I'm mounting on it, I just finished drilling the other two holes. That later. Now it's time to drill some hole here. Let me see. I never even used this. It's brand new. This might work actually. One and one eight. Oh yeah. 
it will be perfect. Okay, let's use this. But definitely, I cannot just do it like this with this piece on it. Unless I'm out of my mind. I don't want to break it. This is not like doing a screw hole there. So, let's mop the area. Which should be easy. Drill it. I will draw some line on it to get a rough idea exactly where the center is. And then I kind of drill a pilot hole on it. Okay, so um, I just finished cutting the hole, and uh, after doing that, I use a dermal with a uh, sanding head. I go in and uh, just round off all the edges and make the hole big enough, just right. And uh, then I installed the whole face plate back on with the full nut and bolt. Uh, as you can see, Insides look like this. These bowls is perfect size. I mean, they're not flush to the to the face plate, but I don't mind. It just stick out a little bit. So it's all good. Now, uh, next step we do is the harness. Let me sh show you. So guys, so before I uh, start to making the harness, um, I draw up a simple block diagram on to indicate how the wiring is going to connect and uh, how it's going to use. So let me explain to you, so you can take reference on it. That's the batteries. Uh, I call this GPS connector. Actually, just go to my uh, fish founder, and or maybe later I'll use it to uh, take or charge the batteries also. And that's the fuse. That's the switch. Notice the switch have three legs there. Actually, two of them uh, is going to be positive, one is going to go to the negative. Uh, because there's have a LED light there, and that's why it, it has three legs. This is the USB, the cigarette lighter, and that's the voltmeter. So the red line is the positive. Uh, this GPS port is not protected by the fuse, uh, because like I say, I might use it to uh, uh, charge the battery later. Um, but if you don't have this, you just have to take this away. Go into the fuse, the fuse, go into the switch. You will have to figure out which two pin is the switch pin. Uh, it does not have a marking on my one. So, but basically, is you're gonna switch here, gonna pass it also out, going back, link up with all the positive. So this is actually one big note. And then the ground negative, going right here, goes straight to negative, and then distribute with a note to uh, the other three device, uh, all four together. Okay, so that's pretty simple, right? And I will show you when I completed the harness, and uh, we can cross check with this diagram again. So here I am uh, making the harness for the. You know all the circuits there inside was not very difficult. Um, the kit already come with uh, six of these uh, push-in quick connector, which I uh, I don't have a special clamp screw to do it. I basically just use my uh, wire cutter. They have some clamp screw, clamp hole made in here. I use the middle one. Um, the wire is actually recycled from the trolling motors uh, wire. Last time I uh, replaced it out, this section is actually still good. I'm going to use it. All of them is going to be parallel. Um, I'm also making a quick connect for the GPS, which is not part of this four connector there. Um, this is a fuse, actually. It's an inline fuse. Right now, it's have, uh I don't know if you can see, it's a 30 m fuse on it. Actually, this circuit, the whole circuit would be protected by probably about 15 m. I'm going to replace this with a 15 m fuse instead of letting you use 30 m's. I don't have any device to draw that kind of high amperage, so 
15 amps should be enough actually because you know one amp for the USB the USB only one one port is one amp the second port is two amp max is three amp and the, you know the cigarette lighter I give it most about 10 amp most 10 amps is a huge amount current already so uh, you know 15 amps is more than enough maybe even 10 amps should be good I don't have think I don't remember I have anything it's more than uh, 5 amp so we'll use that and uh, of course you know I can change it later so um, I'll show you after I finish all this in the wiring and uh, explain a little bit in detail when I have everything plugged in you will better understand it okay okay guys so this is the finished harness okay it's really much easier when you have a block diagram draw up so um, I've tested the connection everything's here is it's, it's good and basically this is the battery you imagine that and you go over here it's, that's the GPS connector that I was referring to and this is the fuse and then the notes gonna come to the switch that's the switch so the switch actually have three legs two of them actually have uh, like a copper color and the other one is uh, silver the silver is actually going the one that go to go to uh, go to negative go to ground the other two is the one that's going to the positive in here and then we have the I think this we have the cigarette lighter and then the USB and then also the rotator. So that's all connect according to to this diagram. Uh, that's pretty easy. So one of the thing that is uh, I want to notice is all these notes are actually uh, put solder solder them instead of just twist them and use the wire nut the wing nut to uh, connect them. I solder them before I use the wing nut and uh, also. Uh, protected with uh, some uh, electrical tape. Uh, the reason why I solder it because uh, these are DC system. You know, um, if you have loose wire or bad wire connection, it's gonna cause heat as well as voltage drop. So you want to avoid them, and that's why you know, unlike any AC system, you can just twist and go for it. I always uh, use a solder on it. You don't necessarily use this kind of wing nut connection. There's other push type of pin, push pin type of uh, connector out there. They're working pretty nicely too. And those you don't need to solder. So, uh, but I already have these, so I don't want to go out and get some more new things. I'm just gonna do it like that. Okay, so let me put together for you guys and show you how it works. Okay, so when you pack it in, just be careful all the positive and negative and all this thing. So the harness is done. This will actually get to hang out like this. When I put the cover up, or when I'm not used, I can just leave it inside. It's no problem. So as we go into the battery, and we're done. Let's put the battery in. Okay, let's just connect this. Always touch it. That was that was set it to on. So turn it off before you do that. A 
extra tight. Okay, so excellent. Twelve point seven. The battery is fully charged, so it's all good. I didn't show it in this video, but actually I also uh, cut the power cord of the trolling motor power connector and make it become a Anderson style quick connect. The connection is very good. There's no no voltage loss. All connection is good. I tried it already. So just had to put this on. Put this on. That's the original bracket to divide the batteries, push it aside, but um, because I have all the wire and all the barrel or socket in here, um, I can't put the whole one in, so I cut half of them because it's, I still want some structural support, so it's not going to be too flex on the, on the plastic box there. So that I'm just going to put right here. This guy I'm gonna just lay it hang out if I need to. Put the cap. Great. So this is done. It's taking me about uh, a little bit more than one and a half hours, something like that. Uh, the longest time is really is to uh, building the harness. You have to uh, cut all the wire, measure the wire length, and all this, and uh, also have to solder all the connector. Um, all in all, I think it's not that difficult. It's pretty quick, and it's add a lot of uh, usage and value to the batteries. Now you know um, I can charge my phone and uh, use other things with this battery now easily. So that's great, and I can probably also take it to. Uh, camping too so um, thank you for watching uh, please uh, leave me some comment I'd love to hear from you guys and uh, hit like and subscribe I'll definitely post more interesting video for you guys thank you it was fast